imagine doing research on all human diseases simultaneously. One can argue you are talking about science fiction. On the contrary, this is the actual reality. Nowadays, thanks to a new field of science that is called bioinformatics, we are able to analyze a huge amount of biological molecular data just using a personal computer. But what does it mean in concrete and how this will change the face of medicine? Well, everybody knows that genes define the way in which we are, physical appearance, character and behavior, and they also determine our diseases. Now we are in the position of associating the genotype, the DNA, to the phenotype, the way in which we are. Unfortunately, it's a bit more complex. Genes are more than a simple sequence of DNA containing biological information. They are molecules with their own 3D structure. For example, DNA is highly organized with protein in a complex called chromatin. This complex is crucial. It determines if a gene would or not be used by our organism to produce other molecules, like proteins. Let's imagine it like a, a library containing more than 20,000 books. The library is the chromatin and the books are the genes. In this library, some shelters are locked and the genes inside these shelters are unreadable. This is like the chromatin structure that determines which genes are readable and transcribed and which ones are silent. Who are the readers of this library? The transcription factors. In the cell nucleus, these molecules are collected in transcription factories, like reading rooms. So, is it possible to associate the knowledge of the chromatin structure to the gene disease associations? This is the idea at the basis of our database, EDGAR. Our aim was to collect and retrieve this data. In Edgar, given a malady, you know all the related genes, or given a genes, all the related maladies. Moreover, you will have all the interactions among genes and the transcription factors regulating their expression, and also on which chromosomes. So now we know the books, the shelters, and the readers. But how can we change the books? Well, Biotechnologists improve subgene editing techniques that allow us to change the DNA directly in living organisms. We have now both the knowledge and the technology to do these changes. With my work, we make some steps forward in the comprehension on the molecular mechanism underneath the appearance of a disease, and we made it for all the pathologies at the same time, free, available, online. This is the era of genome editing. Thank <laughs> you.